Hey guys, Gimmo6. Welcome to Portal 2's incinerator room. This is going to be chapter 2, the cold boot. Uh, let me just hop up here real quick. Now, oh. I'm gonna dodge you. I'm scared. So, last time, so last time what happened? GLaDOS killed Wheatley. Uh, we lost our blue, our singular portal gun, and now we're gonna take that, which is the dual portal device. There you can shoot orange and blue, oh, yeah. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Uh, alright. So, you know, like I said, welcome back to Portal 2. We just got the dual portal device, and I found a way to semi-break the game. We can head back here. That's fun. And inside of stuff, too. Let me just jump up here. Alright. Alright, so. You know how portals work? Go watch my first series. You know, my series on the first game. Not the first ever video I posted. That was kind of cringy. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. So, uh... After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Yeah, so this... Uh, I'd recommend this game to everyone who can afford it. It's already just ten bucks. Uh, but this is not for anyone who has vertigo or any kind of motion sickness. See? You can do that, and that's... you're supposed to be doing that. I, usually there's dialogue here, but I kind of skipped it. Yeah. Big pitfall. What do these buttons do? Ooh, I want to press a button. Come on, game, let me press a button. Chapter two, the cold the boot. Mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Okay, so in the original Portal game, this was one of those high-energy pellet things that killed you if you touched it. But here, it's just this. So, oh, that does that, so. Just hit this hit here like this. Jump up here. Bang. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Just gotta waddle inside the elevator real quick, which goes down to... I don't know, at least ten miles down? Which is not fun. It's not the most fun thing. This next test involves discouragement Discur redirection oh, cubes. Uh, I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Space there to jump. Be Gee, thanks, game. Uh, 
There we go. Simple. Here, we can see ourselves. See? This is the new model. Where are the broken ones? There they are. We need a... Do you think that cube will actually work? Like a button? But will this well work? Done. Here oh. come the test results. You are a horrible person. Hey! That's what it says. A horrible person. We that's weren't not, even that's testing not fair. for that. No, you weren't even testing for that. How dare you? That's clearly just your opinion. How dare. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It it's is just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Yes. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. I'm at to... If I had to shoot that from there and then like... You know, Congratulations. Out. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Are you calling me fat? Seriously, stop insulting me or else I might just kill you again. Get ready for loading screens, and a lot of them. Un unless I just had to cut them out. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Test for this new testing track. Uh, those, that's the toxic gro corrosive goo from the last game. You know, the one that killed you? You know. The floor that kills you. Ow. What does that and uh allows me to get over there like yeah. Jump. Jump. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle, you're calling me fat and I really hate you for that. You're gonna get killed again, I tell you that. Something bad gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. You're gonna be stuck in like one of those lemon battery things. Or something. Does that even produce 1.1 volts? Because it said in the last thing that uh, AIs can survive in conditions up down to 1.1 volts, and I'm not sure how much how much energy a lemon battery makes. Ooh, cubes! Oh, no more cubes. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Now this test chamber, uh, explains... Ex it basically explains what's currently happening in this part of the game. It's, everything's like half broken, half repaired. You may be wondering why I shot a portal there. Well, it's simple once I shoot a portal there onto that one, I know. Now we have no more cameras to watch us. Which means we can take the camera and toss it. No, I said toss it. Good enough. No, 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 no. Ah, I missed. Huh. Here's an interesting Give me cubes, fact. Cleaner. You're not breathing real air. 
It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. I mean, it is objectively interesting, but I don't like that. I really do not appreciate that. Everything's fixing itself. Everything is cleaner now. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, oh. advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. So that's just a texture right there. There's no actual real bumps, but up we go. Let me throw, let me throw. So those little den-like areas from uh, the last game, those had a name, those were called Ratman Dens. And there's one in this level, which I will show you by portal. Boing, and then we go. See this here? It's random garbage that probably has a lore reason and stuff, but still. Ooh, darker tiles. Going more edgy. See that? That, uh... I almost jumped into the water. That funnel thing, right there, is right above that aerial faith plate. And we saw what happened last time. It went boing, boing, boing. Through there. And if I put the portal there where I was supposed to, I'd probably go there. So, once it's up there, blue goes there, and now I just wait. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Great. Perfect. Now let's actually try this and follow the cube. Let's follow the bouncing cube, guys. Boing. Boing. See that? Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Ah, great. Thanks. Perfect. Technically three times, including that last thing. It's fine. Back in Aperture Laboratories, you know testing for our life. Are more easily startled by loud noises. Mm, I should have known by the subtitles. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Uh, I've seen a bit of this test before, so... Give me if this is kind of cheating. That's fine. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm Give sorry. me another. Go ahead and grab another one. Ah. I just got walked oh, on the no. head. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. <laughs> we no, have no, no. warehouses oh, full I have to be things. really quick. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Uh, these are the these are an upgraded version of the companion cubes from the last game, and we had we were forced really to burn ours. It's just staying there. Either way, I actually need that, so... Thank you for that. I need to make it there and there. Grab a little, you know, Companion Cubert, why not? I'm gonna name him Companion Cubert. I can probably make this. Whee! 
Ah! Oh, hey, why don't the no the fizzler here is broken by the looks of it. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I can place the blue portal there, and I can jump over here like this, and... I can do this, and... Ow! Taking my companion cube with me. Oh! I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. We can't even see how far it goes up. We just, we just keep going down. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's just keep going this way. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last oh, test area that did not have one. Are we, am I supposed to get up there? Up we go. Up. Open sesame. Whoa! Oh my. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. So this does... Oh, this fires the laser. Laser, if fired correctly, opens the door. Great. Now what's this button do? Ow. Oh, did it drop a cube? Dang. Great. So this is the entirety of the second chapter of Portal 2, which is the cold boot. Thought I'd mention it again while we're dealing with another loading screen. Oh, chapter 3, The Return. Well, in that case, that signals off the end of our little video today. So, like this guy who's waving goodbye, I must say goodbye. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be another Henry Sigmund video. Uh, episode 5, Part 2. Gonna deal with that later, but I'm going to wish you guys a good night, day, afternoon, whenever you're watching. I'm gonna wish you guys a good time. So I will see all you guys then. Bye!